Hello and Jean Dobre, everyone. I hope you're having a great conference so far. To introduce myself, I'm Alan Bowe. Probably fair to say I'm a bit of a SAS geek. And other than SAS Sensei, the contributions I've made to the SAS community include the SAS.js framework and data controller for SAS. So what is SAS Sensei? At its core, it's a question-based education system. And all the content is actually submitted by and reviewed by the SAS community, or at least those that play the game. For those who take it seriously, it can be a competitive challenge. For most people though, it's just a bit of fun and an opportunity to learn something new about SAS. There are seven levels to achieve. Everyone starts off at white belt, and as you progress through the game, you unlock various other belts, and then finally at 500 rep, SAS Samurai, at 1000 rep, Assassin, and at 5000 rep, SAS Sensei. Each level gives you access to new features within the game, such as review mode, multiplayer, and even the ability to create your own quiz for other people to enjoy. The content then is divided by tags. You can see here that SAS administration is one of the top tags. There are also lots of questions in data step, SAS macro, data science, proc SQL, or you name it. Overall, the site is divided between three main areas, flashcards, questions, and quizzes. A flashcard is a short article up to 5,000 characters written in Markdown. Any code submitted is rendered in SAS format and content ranges from SAS tips to videos to short articles on technical SAS topics. Questions make up the core of the game and they consist of a question body and between two and four correct answers. If you answer the question correctly, you earn two reputation and depending on your streak, one or two tokens. Either way, you also get an explanation so you can learn something new. At this point, you can also vote on the question. It is worth voting because you can earn an extra reputation point, which is basically a reward for helping to maintain the question quality. Voting also unlocks the statistical analysis section. What else? And you can see who submitted the question, what the pass rates are, and any comments that have been submitted. Here are the various menu items under questions. You can play questions, you can submit new questions, and you can review the questions submitted by other players. If I could give you just one tip for getting a really, really high score on SAS Sensei, it would be to submit questions. If they're accepted, you'll earn reputation every time the content is upvoted. We've put in a few features to improve playability. I've mentioned code formatting. We also have latex support for rendering mathematical formula, a hints box to remind you of things such as keeping your code line lengths short. Code sections don't wrap, so we recommend 32 characters to support players on mobile, and more than half of our players are on mobile. You can embed videos from YouTube or Vimeo, and they automatically resize according to the device. You can add up to three tags and between two and four answers. The most important thing, though, is the explanation. The aim is to teach, so we have a minimum number of characters and also insist that there is a link so that the player can learn more if they wish. In review mode then, you can see the questions submitted by other players. You can rate them according to six dimensions being spelling, grammar, having the right tags, whether they are factual and precise. And by this, it means you can't submit an opinionated question or one that could be misinterpreted. It has to be very black and white. If the answer is, i.e. if the answer is right or wrong, then there's the explanation, if it was adequate. And finally, the formatting. Was the code formatted as code, for instance? 
It might sound like a lot of overhead, but for new players, it's really important that questions are well formulated, especially if they're on that winning streak. Public quiz quizzes are unlocked at Sasamurai level, and they consist of 12 questions, and you need to get 75% correct to pass. Quizzes are added automatically once we have enough questions submitted and approved in a particular topic. There needs to be at least 36 questions for the first quiz in a particular topic, and then additional quizzes are created with every 12 extra questions added after that. Once you've taken the quiz, you can see your results and how you compare to other players who might have taken the exact same quiz. You can click on each question and see your answer and, and of course, learn from the result. At assassin level, you can set up a multiplayer game. This can either be a 12 question quiz or it can also be a tournament mode where players are knocked out each round if they answer incorrectly. All you need to do is send the link to whoever you'd like to join the game and, and you can all play at the same time. Anyone you invite this way is also a referral, which means that your invitee gets a token bonus on sign up. The final Sasensei level gives you God rights within the game. You can edit any question, for instance, and you can also create your own custom quizzes to share with others. You can search the entire question bank and pick questions according to their difficulty, number of upvotes, tag, or specific search items. You can also see the difficulty of the entire quiz based on the historical pass rates of the questions added. We recommend a difficulty score of about 0.6 or a 60% pass rate or easier to keep it fun. If there's a tie, the first to finish wins and there's a leaderboard at the end. If you wanted to use this quiz for say recruitment purposes, we recommend creating one quiz per candidate so they don't see anyone else on the leaderboard at the end. You can clone the quiz so that you can still give the same link and everyone gets the same questions. There's also the possibility to unlock certificates to show your rank and when it was achieved. This is available as a public URL, so you could share it on your, on your CV or LinkedIn or, or wherever. You can also unlock the ability to put your username in the URL, a, a vanity URL, so you don't have to be just a number. Your profile page looks a bit like this. It shows the number of questions you submitted, the quizzes you've passed, the badges you've earned. It doesn't show the questions you got wrong or the questions you didn't pass. Uh, we only show the positive results. In terms of badges, there are 12 for exploration, which can be unlocked just once, and then another 10 for achievements. These are a bit harder to get and, and you can get them multiple times. And then the leaderboard. So we split that between global, continent, and country, and also by month, by year, and all time. Showing on the screen is the global all-time leaderboard. There's over 4,000 players on Sasense, so this is really the cream of the crop. Poland continues to dominate with Bartosz, founder of Polish SAS user group, in global first position, and Michał from SAS Poland pulling in a very respectable ninth position. Michał is also presenting after the break, by the way, talking about the SAS fire quick start for us all. Looking at Poland for the last month, we can see Damien from SCS is taking a strong lead. Damien only signed up in August and is already an assassin, so watch out. In terms of overall stats then, you can see our growth. The site went live in 2017, and by 2018, we had 1,000 players. By 2019, we had 3,000. And so far in 2020, we have over 4,000 players registered and over 1,500 SAS questions submitted and approved. In terms of the number of players in a particular country, the USA is number one with over 1,000 players now, followed by India and then UK, 
and then Belgium. This graph does tail out with, with there's over 100 countries uh, so far registered. In terms of actual reputation earned on the site, the picture is very different. The UK is first and Poland is second, and that's really impressive considering there are only 140 players registered in Poland in total. Uh, followed on by, by India, I think there's about 800 players there, uh, and the USA yet with over 1,000. In terms of the roadmap for Sasense, we do plan to build in a Teams feature, and this will let you compete on behalf of your organization or user group rather than just by yourself. Uh, and we'll also have a global leaderboard of the top teams. We'll implement a chat feature. It's going to be a bit like WhatsApp, so you can even communicate within the team. Uh, finally, we noticed that some content was being downvoted and removed due to small mistakes that were never actually corrected by the original author, which, which is a shame as the content was otherwise good. The author doesn't always come back in and, and finish finish up with any suggestions. So we're going to bring in a feature that lets somebody else pick up that content and bring it back to life so that we can keep growing that question bank with the, the best questions possible. After building Sasensei, we actually used the platform to create a number of additional quiz games on a number of programming languages such as Python, R, JavaScript, and Ruby. And we also did it for other domains such as insurance, yoga, the Serbian language, and aviation. And we're about to release a new one on data. It will be called cdoquiz.com. Here are some additional links. We've got social media pages. There's also a documentation site, docs.sasensei.com. And that really goes into the detail of, of how the site works and, and the rules for uh, tokens and, and reputation, etc. And that's my presentation. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to jump on the chat now and do let me know if you have any questions.